Hey, we're back this time. It's um, Ulton Park Circuit. This uh, the international configuration with no chicanes. I don't think I've done this particular one before. Uh, it's some multi-class today. Kind of. Because it's basically a Mazda race. Oops, wheels point the wrong way. Hold on. That's better. Alright, <laughs> it's basically a glorified Mazda race because we have a grand total of one Mustang and I think we had uh, three Solstices and like two Jettas or the other way around, something like that, and then like a boatload of Mazdas. So this is Mazdas with like one drop in the ocean of other kinds of cars so that's interesting um, kind of a bummer we don't have the chicanes I feel like I used to gain some good time in that first chicane although I get I guess it's a little bit of give-and-take because that second chicane I feel like I uh, wasn't too good at so this first one here is the one we're missing or you know one of two that we're missing we just drive on by and then number two over here we also won't be taking that one. So, a little bit of a different look than I'm used to. Taking it a little easy on this first lap because uh, still got cold tires. And I uh, just got another free setup today. Uh, didn't bother with the uh, whole taking the fuel out business. Don't really, uh, I don't even think I particularly want to start first, to be honest with you. But uh, we'll try to get a uh, good start. Green flag, green flag. And, uh, you know, at least start in the front of the field, maybe. Okay, here comes your first time lap. I don't really know how to handle, you know, letting that Mustang get out ahead a little bit. <laughs> Never had to actually be the leader in a multi-class race, so I don't think I would handle that right. Car is super tight in turn one, by the way, as you saw. It braked extra and it still didn't turn, so <laughs> that's unfortunate. But uh, try to save it the rest of this lap here. So if I could start, I don't know, P2, 3, somewhere around there, uh, that'd be cool. But uh, I gotta earn that. We'll see. We'll see about that. long straightaway out here without the chicanes there's gonna be some uh, draft as you might imagine people getting uh, runs and then I have a feeling this is gonna be a very dangerous corner because it's a very fast corner and uh, people are gonna be trying to pass after that long straight and then I don't know if it's a good idea to pass going into there so that scares me a little bit I'm going to be backing out, I think, if uh, I end up going in there side by side. But uh, I don't, I don't, I highly doubt other people are going to be willing to do that. We'll just be sending it in there, I'm sure. So, could be dangerous. Let's we'll see if uh, I'm, I'm right or wrong. Because that wasn't that great of a lap. We'll see what brings us. Not gonna be accurate for a minute because we got out there really quick. Ooh, wheels yanking off the desk. Almost had an off track there. Uh oh, my wheels really off the desk. That's bad. Well, I'm gonna have to do this lap awkwardly as my wheels turned in a weird direction. So that's not gonna help. What did I do to this thing? <laughs> Breaking my wheel. Uh, I'll be able to look at, at it uh, in a second here. <laughs> yanking the wheel so hard going around these corners pulling it off the desk Can I fix it? Ow. <laughs> trying to fix it on the long straight just pinched it pinched my finger trying to get back on you ever uh, drive a race car and smash your finger in the wheel when you're trying to put it back on happens to everyone you really get to the red line there, but I don't think you want to uh, do any shifting. 
hey, you got there through there pretty good. Um, because you right when you get to that red line, you're about headed into the corner. So, you can really sling it through there once your car gets light, lighter weight, and uh, tires are warm. But uh, for now, in this practice lap, that's about as fast as I was gonna be able to take it. And uh, the second lap's better, it looks like. All right, cool. So we'll get where uh, I think we're about supposed to be. Not quite in the best lap, but pretty good. Um, that'll put us P3. Okay. I'm okay with that. Oh man, that number six got a fast lap. 142.0. They probably took the fuel out. I was uh, about tied with that guy in practice. So, he might be faster though, and like, I don't remember, maybe the lap that I got my fastest lap, he was, uh, or I was, uh, in the draft, so, he might just be straight up faster, and, uh, that was the only reason I could compete, but, I'm happy with my time, given that, uh, kept all the fuel in it, lugging around this heavy thing, <laughs> and, uh, was able to get, uh, nearly a best time, nearly, a uh, match my best time. And uh, still had some fuel in it, so it was about as good as I think I could hope to get. We qualified better than the Mustang, but the Mustang's gonna be able to. is gonna be put right in front of us, so that's a little scary. But it's just one. How bad can it be? <laughs> flashbacks. War flashbacks. Mustangs always kind of seem to end up wrecking in front of us. Seems to be a trend. But only got to dodge one this time, and maybe he won't wreck. But I think he will be slower. He's a full second and a half slower than the fastest Mazda. So chances are we're going to be seeing him. He's a full second slower than us. So well, he might catch us on the uh, on these long straights though. So we're going to have to watch out for that. But. Uh, as I've learned more about the series, I don't know why I shifted a second there. As I learn more about the series, I've learned that the uh, Mustangs aren't exactly that much faster than, uh, you know, the Mazdas. And on first glance, I thought those guys were going to be zooming past us constantly, a uh, guaranteed lap every time, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It uh, seems like they usually end up either just a little bit faster than us, or. Uh, much faster or you know not not faster at all rather so that's interesting and I'm putting a nice lap down right here tires are warm now so it's what I would kind of expect and that's it so what we got p4 overall p3 of the Mazdas so a whole bunch of people did not qualify that's interesting wonder what that is But we got a nice competitive time. We just got one guy that maybe just put in a lap to, uh, just to pass all the guys that didn't make a lap. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, cool. At least we don't have to do a full lap. It looks like we're already halfway through the course. That's nice. Instead of a, making us have to do a full pace lap. Appreciate that. Set the Mustang <laughs> to the right front of us. That's funny. So, he won his race. Congratulations to him. One car <laughs> field for him. Also participation, but uh, no one wanted to do a Mustang. So, um, I think Mazdas get a lot of the... get a lot of the field for the same reason I chose the Mazda, and that's because that's what I'm familiar with. You know, uh, one of the rookie series is the Mazda, so people are familiar with it, and so they don't want to get out here in the multi-class and do a different thing that they're not too familiar with. I've done the Solstice before, once or twice, and I think I even did the Jetta once, but uh, I like I enjoy driving the Mazda, so that's why I hop into it. And plus you get, it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, I also don't want to jump into uh, a Solstice ended up the only guy in here not racing anyone like the Mustang guy and so I don't choose it and maybe that's what everyone thinks so that's why 
no one does anything else. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. So feedback loop. I don't know if that's the right wording for it, but you know what I'm trying to say. Getting ready to go. I wonder if the monster is going to leave room or if we're just going to go ahead and go. Each way, either way sounds fine to me because we're just going to catch up right to him, I think. I'm going to go ahead, it looks like. Sounds good to me, man. I think something's wrong with my wheel. I'm going to be honest with you. I think uh, I'm pulling it off my desk. I think something's loose. That's a little not. That's a little scary. It's going to pop off in the middle of the race, isn't it? Oh, boy. Well, let's hope we aren't around anyone or it doesn't happen right at the start. I'm going to have to take a look at it after this race. I might have to re, uh, reconnect it to my desk a little better. I had a slight problem in the last race, too, but I thought I had it solved. Hopefully it's not too big of a problem. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Sorry for the language. Oh, my God. I thought he was going, and then, uh... <laughs> and then you hit the brake. Oh, uh, why are you doing that, man? We're gonna get wrecked immediately. You jerk. Oh my god. <laughs> Wrecking. Oh my god! Okay, well. That was terrifying. Uh, <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are they doing to each other? Holy cow, guys. That guy just straight turned him. He turned me in practice, too. So that's kind of not cool by that guy. I'm gonna, I'm scared of this guy, I'll be honest. So he wrecked me in practice, and now he just did that to that guy. I don't think it was intentional, but it tells me he has limited control over his car. Oh, no, it was the guy in practice that got me was uh actually the guy that got spun okay well that's curious I have to let this guy by oh he backed out the same time as me <sighs> I'm gonna get a lot of off tracks this race I guarantee you I just want to let him go I don't want to fight right now we're gonna lose touch with the guys in front but I'm gonna need this guy to not be slow either in front of me, Jesus. Oh, this is stressful. Marty dropping F bombs. <laughs> Sorry again about that. I'm not gonna censor. It's not a it's not a kid's channel, alright? This is real racing. <laughs> so that's gonna happen, unfortunately. Oh my lord. This guy's a little slow. I'm gonna have to find my way around him before we lose too much ground to the guys in front. Oh my god, what is happening? Go! I keep, he keeps breaking earlier than I expect, so I have to like enter the corner a different way than I'm anticipating and then messes me up. I can't believe the people that go three wide right off the start. Like, you know how long this race is? You really want to die in turn one? I don't understand, man. He's gonna block me? Gee whiz. These guys are crazy, man. You really gonna trust me that much? To cut me off right there, right before braking? I need to get past this guy. He's kinda upsetting me. He's a number 29, so he probably has less experience. He's doing pretty good for his number, I'll give him that, but man, he's holding me up. I think the Mustang's holding those guys up up there, too, though. Can't find the right spot to pass him. Okay. We have a run 
here. I tried to get around on them, it kind of messed it up a little bit. God, he's giving me no room whatsoever. <sighs> Guess I should have waited and tried to set him up for this corner or, you know, heading into this corner so I could get him on this long straight. I don't know. I mean, losing track. I hate seeing that number get bigger. Because I know I can hang with those guys, but I'm going to... Rather take it off track than hit him. Ah, oh, They got a better run. How did he even manage to do that? They're getting away. I'm so stuck. It's like being stuck in traffic. I mean, that's literally what they call it. I'm stuck in traffic. Except it's lead lap traffic. But I'm not going to punt him out of the way. Not on purpose, at least. I want to get by him cleanly. Maybe he'll uh, incident himself out by going off track all the time. I better make sure I don't do that. Did that uh, Mustang get away? Oh, that's not a Mustang. What am I talking about? Is it not a Mustang? No, it is, I think. I still see him up there. I got confused by the relative. Well, he really cut us off there again. I'm not lifting for him if he does that anymore. If he turns himself on my nose, that's his deal. So we're not going to try to pass through here. It's not going to work. Hard to see my turning point when I'm that close to him. He's uh, not getting scared. That's great. Love for him to make a mistake so I can get through. If I were talented, I could make the pass. Well, let me make that clear. It's because I'm not very good at this that uh, I can't set up a pass, right? That's a weak point of my road racing. So as much as I'm complaining about him, if I were good, I'd be able to get it done. I'm not dealing with that blocking. Oh my god. Please let me get away from him. Holy cow, that was a really hard pass to make. Get me out of here. Thank goodness we had a lap car to draft off of here, so we can't just draft right back up, hopefully. My wheel hasn't fallen off the desk, that's a positive. take that nerve I've been taking that turn pretty nervously because if you mess it up you're going to Narnia but uh, you can't take it faster than I have I think I took that poorly oh my god don't let him come back I think I got out of the way just in time So 
slow car ahead. Oh, we're not a wreck. Even worse, it's a solstice. Panic. Oh, we're good. <laughs> oh, is he gone? No, he's not gone. <laughs> I thought he was gone. Oh, I didn't see him in my rear view for a second. Oh, if he could just... Yeah, that's not an off track. If he could just disappear. Oh, man, that would make my life so much easier. Ooh, that Mazda's in the grass. We're going to catch up to him a little bit. Which is perfect. Right before this uh, big draft zone. I feel like if I put some solid laps down, I can catch this leader. Uh, I just need to, I just need to get a little farther so that way he can't leech off my draft anymore. get it to turn All right the guy behind is fast he's that's for sure he was just uh, slow in some really key points and I think that's was driving me crazy <laughs> oh what's happening up here is that the leader off Where is he? Oh my god, I'm scared. Where did the leader go? I was afraid that he was gonna hit me. I couldn't tell where he went. So I let off for a while. Oh my god, now the guy's behind me again. Kill me. Not literally, green car. Oh my god. Why, right here? That's the guy that wrecked me in practice. Hell no, nah, man. I wasn't even not trying to block, but I did not want him to try to make a move through there. He's got to know I'm faster and that the only reason he caught back up is because of that wreck. Well, maybe I'm not faster. Maybe he's more consistent. So he's got the draft, so that's what's really helping, helping him. But let me tell you something. Guys that are high, are low I rating, but are fast, are the scariest drivers to come across. Because that means that even though they're fast, they're not finishing well. And what causes that nine times out of ten? Wrecking. So, that's a scary combination. Thankfully it looks like we're starting to get away from him again. And we are in P2. Don't do it. Are you kidding me? This is the worst thing that could have happened. Are you kidding me? I'm really mad right now. I'm very, very, very mad right now. That flag means we have to come in. There's no choice, even though the car seems okay. We have to come in and fix it. <sighs> we had a chance to win this. guy's not even racing anymore. He's got like three solstices in the race and he wrecked already. So who is he racing? Why is he doing that? Why is he in the grass like that? Oh, very 
mad. I'm very, very mad. Got a quick repair at least. See if we can save a decent finish. There go some people. <sighs> I should have saved my f bomb of the race for that guy. <laughs> Class leader in his Jetta. Oh boy. I mean. There's not much to say about it, and you can see what happened. I believe we got cold tires now, so watch for that. But we got a Jetta going negative three miles an hour in front of us. We'll pass him here though. You're not blocking me. Are you kidding me? You're a different class. Get out of here. Get lost. Jesus Christ, no one knows what the flip they're doing. Thanks. Get out of here, Jesus Christ. Why are why is everyone here freaking brain dead? Jesus. Why are you fighting a different class? Oh my god, now I gotta get past whatever's going on here. Jet is inserting himself into it. I don't give a flip if you are <laughs> if you're leading your class. It's not particularly a close race either, now is it? <sighs> we got one of the Mazdas. I'm driving angry now. I could have won this race, but we get stuck behind Molasses McGee and then get wrecked by slime ball solstice I don't know. I'm trying to be creative with my wording instead of just cussing a bunch okay we're going into this turn real slow that's fine Back out if you know what's best for you. Fine. Pass somewhere else. You're delaying the inevitable. We're still in fifth, by the way. Can you not see how fast I am? Get out of the way. Slowing yourself down. Wheels coming off again. tracks are really starting to g gather up, especially because I got contact from the one guy. I gotta be careful not to get to 17. But, uh, once I get some room from these dudes, I think I should be okay. <sighs> we can come catch this uh, guy in third. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Man. So we got six minutes. These laps are pretty long though, so that's not all that many laps.
Yeah, I've been putting some nice laps down. It's too bad I can't fight for the lead anymore. We got some people getting disqualified. Wow. How did number 32 get in here anyway? Oh, did we get a disqualify? Is that our path to the lead? Still out there? I took that awful. I didn't know where he was going to be. Gave him all the room in the world because I don't trust him. And we're past. So, if we can get the one car. <laughs> if we can get the one car to uh, go out, we could still win even after having to take a pit stop. Isn't that something? I gotta go back to hitting good laps though, because that wasn't quite that great. And now he's gonna have draft behind us, and we are not gonna have any. So he's gonna catch up a bunch in this straight away, unfortunately. Let's see if we can break the draft. Actually didn't lose any time there, so that's good. Okay, got through there pretty good. Alright, he's falling back. Nice. We're still gonna get second after having to take a pit stop. Unless I ruin every corner like that. Let me not get too ambitious. But holy cow, I did not think we would be anywhere near the front after that. All that <laughs> went down. Leader saying thanks. Was it sarcastic? Did he get knocked off the course? <laughs> One can dream. Can't do any more of that. I gotta stop doing that. We only got three more of those before we get disqualified. There's no need for it. So I need to, uh, need to rein it in. Whew. What is this guy doing? Just drive normal and like let off a little bit. I don't understand. Appreciate the gesture, letting me by, but like you're being dangerous just slamming on the brakes in the middle of a straightaway. Oh, sorry. I guess this this is the the complaints race. Seems like just about everyone had a lot of trouble this race. Lots of wrecks. I wish I could tell. I could see how many uh, incidents. Oh my god, this guy in front of me. I wish I could see how many incidents the guy in first had. First of my class, obviously. Just so I could uh, get false hope. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Gonna need you to get out of the way, my friend. Please? Places to be. Really let me buy at a bad time, but whatever. Everyone's got to deal with that. I'm not unique. Okay. Six laps of uh, fuel left, so we're plenty, even though we got that light flashing. Because we only got one or two laps to go. What's the distance? Damn, 30 seconds, yeah. He's way too far away. He was pretty fast anyway. I don't know if we were going to catch him, even if we didn't get wrecked. Could have made it close, though. Could have been a good race, but... 
<laughs> that freaking solstice. I can't wait to look at that. I can laugh now that uh, I was still able to somehow get back to second, but wow, that was bad. He was up, he was off in the grass for like a whole half of football field, <laughs> and he just still slid right into our path, right into me. I, I, I tried to anticipate it too, but uh, you know, I just thought that maybe he would be able to stop it a little bit better than that. Not sure what happened there. But we'll take a look. Just as I thought, the white flag coming up. Pretty much out of time for that guy to uh, choke it away, but it looks like we were faster because it was like 30 seconds. Man, we could have won this race. And I'm not exactly hitting my fastest laps right now either because I'm trying not to get off tracks. Man. Oh! Stuck thinking what could have been, but uh, second's pretty darn good too. Assuming I don't disqualify myself somehow in this last lap. You know what might happen is my wheel might pop off because it's still feeling weird. <laughs> Imagine that. Glad it hasn't come off this race. It still feels real weird. Like it's about to slide off the front of the desk. Probably tore a chunk out of the desk itself, yanking it, trying to get around all these road courses. Excuse me. Let's uh, imagine the uh, leader is about to cross the line here in a second. Probably already did. He's 30 seconds ahead, so. We'll just ease it around this corner. Is that dust? Someone went off recently. Ugh. Relax a little bit. Made my back all stiff being all tense this race. Tense and angry. <laughs> Alright, we survived for P2. I don't know how we managed that. We somehow managed to still get second after getting a meatball flag. That's something else. I don't trust these guys. I'm going to get way out of the way after what I saw this race. Parking it. There we go. Wow. Alright. So, technically third overall, but second of the Mazas, we're never going to beat a Mustang. Wow. I'm muted? No, I'm not muted. Okay. Mine's the work, by the way. Pop my back, sorry. <laughs> yeah, two solstices in the race, and one of them managed to hit us. He was fighting hard for that guy that's ten laps behind him, though. I just don't get it, man. But uh, we beat all these guys, even while still going off track. That's crazy. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take a look at what happened out there, including, uh, you know. All right. So the start, this guy, this genius, is already trying to pass us. I mean, okay, it, that's going to happen, I guess. Did I get a bad start? What happened here? I guess I uh, got a bad start. No, I went when the leader went. Oh, you know what I did? I was looking at the guy in front of me instead of the Mustang. The Mustang is supposed to be the one controlling the start. But still, I can't go unless he's going, so. I just, I got stuck behind him. Then I'm giving all the room I can. This guy's super aggressive. Where's he finish? Where did his uh, aggressiveness get him? Oh, well, that's where it got him. Right across my front. I remember that now. So that's where aggressiveness gets you. When you're trying to win it on lap one, turn one. Not that the other one. Anyway. Back to your regu regularly scheduled incidents. This is the guy that wrecked me in practice. Whoa! Oh my god! See, if someone's gonna wreck me, they gotta do that. At least make it something incredible. Oh my god, that was cool. I gotta see that again. 
I'm sorry. I am sorry, but that was majestic. That was free willy action right there. Where is he? Oh, he is pretty high rank too. I need to see some of that. Again, I hope this is... I hope you understand. But like... <laughs> you see he gets uh, right rear and then he kind of turned up into him. So it was his own fault. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and then he goes out of bounds. So he disappears. Wow, that was something else. Oof. Two very yellow cars. So he went off, and then I don't know what he's doing. He's slamming the gas and then just turns right into the racing surface. And this guy's just blocking the surface too. Some odd decision making out here, man. What turn is this? Oh, so that guy breaks way too hard for this corner. Maybe he was looking at this guy? I don't know. That was something. He's not done getting into stuff. At least he doesn't bounce off, it looks like. Oh, he gets hit from behind, though. I feel like that guy's not doing him any favor himself any favors by putting grass on his car, because it looks like he's ending up in the grass a lot. It's a bad omen for him. Guy gets hit a thousand miles an hour. Guys, some guys just don't lift off the gas. If they're gonna hit someone, they just decide they're gonna do it, I guess. I don't get it. Is this a lap car just trying to get out of the way? 16. This guy's the lap car. I don't know what that was. He just turns left. Maybe he has damage and he didn't realize how bad it was until he started trying to get into that corner. He just decides to quit, I think. Red Bull turns down on that guy and I think they got instants already? It's like lap 3. That's wild. So they hit 17 incidents already, either that or they both blinked out at the same time, which is pretty likely too, I guess. Look at that. If you're going to wreck, get off the racing surface. Man. Is he going to turn around right in front of the field? No, he's going to be a petulant child and run into the guy on purpose because he's angry. Wow. I'm still, I still have a little anger in myself, so sorry if I'm a little more... Negative than usual. This guy's losing it. The je Whoa! <laughs> the Jetta accidentally shifted down one extra time. That's what happened there. So he uh, shifted one too many times and then. Or, wait, is there a car there? Was there a car in front of him? That was invisible? Man, this is a circus of a race. Looking back at this. Like, I can't even tell what's going on. So, does this guy blink out? No, I think there was another guy. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Alright, well, next incident then. Yikes. Wow, that was the guy that was gonna... That was in the lead, so... This green car, this lap car, the guy that wrecked me in practice and went on, you know, it was like a E.T. in the bicycle flying through the air earlier. He just blocks him right on the racing path going zero miles, miles an hour. That's also infuriating. Okay, so is this the guy that got me? Sure is. That is unacceptable. Look at this. He's already going 50 miles an hour. This is what a solstice is supposed to be doing. So, how does he even get off track? Is he damaged? He's trying to wreck that guy. And he's just staying in the gas. Look at that. Unbelievable.
I'm just baffled by some of what things I'm seeing in here. This is some of the worst racing I've ever seen. Very sad. So, a guy coming out of the pits. Is he going to run into someone immediately? What's happening? Or are we seeing it for no reason? He doesn't even look like he fixed his car. Maybe he thought he had another fast repair. I have no idea. Side by side racing, gets its tires in there. Looks like they both keep it straight at least. They're trying to be respectful at least, other than some of these guys. Tires in the bad. He at least gets it off the, well, he did have it off the racing service, but that wasn't too bad. See, this is like, how does that happen? I'm trying to think, like, did, did his wheel lock up? Like, how do you... See, he's, he's going around the corner and then he just keeps turning. That looks like equipment failure or something. No, well, we can turn left now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on this race. Uh-oh, Ikea. Gonna have to put that one back together. trees close up of the wow okay <laughs> some more fantastic decision making so that's the guy that was racing us too isn't it isn't this the guy that was uh yeah he was in third he was the guy that was battling us for so long so he gets off track and here you just gotta be off the gas you stop so you can get back into the control kind of gets under the wall there but, uh, you know, lock it down, wait for your chance to get back on the track. But he does not do it. Look at this. He just pulled out right in front of him. Just complete blindness, complete lack of awareness. That's... Wow. That guy just... He's completely broken. He needs to tow. There's no reason for him to even be trying to go, I don't think. I mean, I guess he is right there next to the pits. I think the pits are real near close by, so maybe he doesn't want to tow, but... Sheesh. Loses it on exit. That one made a little more sense. The other guy looked like he just kept turning. That one, like, it looked like he just got on the gas too hard, so that was more of an understandable spin. Kind of lost control. This guy's running in the back of the 34. I think that 34 might be low on power or something. I think that guy caught him a little faster than he expected, though. And, uh, I believe that's the end of the race. The guy's pulling in. Yeah, it's the checkered flag. Wow, that was very interesting. I can put it that way. 14x. We get wrecked and have to fix our car and still get second in the Mazdas. That's... <laughs> that was a circus. That's the only way I can put that, so... Alright, well, we got to see... The clowns honk their noses a little bit. So I hope it was a fun time for everyone at home. <laughs> I'll see you next time.